think today's the day I'm finally gonna install my harnesses. Been putting that off for a while, but got pretty much everything else done, so why not? You would think that since we live in Wisconsin, people would know how to drive when there's a little snow on the ground. Nope. Our Wi-Fi's down again. Nothing's been touched in our shop still. Parking lot has not been plowed. Shit is still everywhere. What is a landlord for if he doesn't do anything? Don't rent from this guy. And if you do, just be prepared for him to not do anything for you. At least there's a path to get out of the shop now. But with all the snow, we can't get out anyways. Definitely did not remember to tighten down my shifter before I was driving it yesterday. Not too big of a deal, but still gotta tighten that. Another thing I gotta do, battery tray. My battery just back here, hanging out, not tied down at all. So before I really drive it, that should be taken care of probably. I'll do that sooner or later. I also have to install that sparkle harness. I don't have a cage or even a roll bar, but I'll figure something out. Still got this stupid expensive Heltec wideband that I'm trying to mount down here. Waiting on a radio delete panel. Maybe I'll make my own, I don't know. Out of cardboard, then light it on fire. I got options. Sick lowered lifestyle keychain though. So I bought this universal looking battery tie down thing for my battery. Not really sure how it's gonna work or if it's gonna work. I'm gonna try to just put some bolts through it and bolt it to my floor, see what happens. And then try to install this harness. I really need to get a better seat. This is definitely not how to install a sparkle harness. You should have some sort of roll bar, ideally a whole cage, I guess, to wrap the harness around, which I don't have yet. But I don't really have a good working uh, seat belt either, so, you know, fuck it. We're doing it. So it's not that pretty, but it's not really that ugly either. Put the anchor bolts through my floor, and I just have the uh, clip-on style harness, so it clips right on there. Easy enough. Looks good. One down, four to go. Pretty hard to film some of this with just my phone here. I should get a better camera. I should get a GoPro or something. A better one. I have a shitty one. But I drilled another hole. Got to reach under there so I can tighten the bolt. Should be kind of easy, I hope. But this one went well, so I think we'll be good. Halfway there. All right, done with the mounts. Put them right, right in there. Right down there, down here. No need to tell me, I already know this is pretty sketchy. I do not plan on taking it to a drift day like this. I'll do some sort of roll bar cage maybe if Connor has time and I have money. I don't know yet. But it's something for now. Don't do this. Definitely do not do this in your own car. This is what I'm resorting to. The socket wouldn't fit through, so I put a smaller socket on it and put the extension through the little harness eye hole. And it's gonna impact it in now. Perfect. I'd love to take it for a drive, but it snowed quite a bit out. Let's see if I can pull this thing back inside without being stuck now. Probably not. Trying to get Connor to sell me these Blitz O3s. Not sure if it's gonna work. Other people have tried before, unsuccessfully. But it's worth a try, because they're cool. And this is not cool. I'd like to drive my car, but I can't. 
I actually wish I could find like some 20 mil over fenders because that's sticking out a little, a little too much. Back looks good. A little too much camber because I have a camber arm from like two years ago that I still haven't put on. I'll get around to that sooner or later. <laughs> 